Hello and welcome back to Rogue Legacy, where last time Lady Hero II braved the castle and she was feeling powerful, thinking she could do it all, <laughs> but she never even made it to the boss and um, yeah, that was kind of embarrassing, but of course we do strive to do better this time and uh, who knows, maybe we will actually do that. However, before we can, uh, you know, show our true worth and display our skills, we need to choose a successor. A hero the third, perhaps, uh, who is uh, the sibling of Lady Hero the second. Who of you, the viewer, will be a sad hero? Let's find out right now. Is it going to be Lady Tanner the second, a barbarian queen with Pad? <laughs> also, and believers, uh, Pad is very good though. Is it going to be Lady Bunsley, the paladin who is flexible, or is it going to be Lady Schnuff the third, a dragon? I mean, I don't know really. You know, Lady Bunsley seems about right. Flexible ain't bad either. I guess we could go with Lady Bunsley. I'd, I would have preferred a Hokage, but you know what? We'll give Lady Bunsley a try. All right. Now I'm not really sure. Look at our money. Oh my good lord! I might have forgotten about that. Wow, our money! <laughs> it is crazy. I know. Also, these braces any good? No, no, we definitely want our uh, retaliation braces. What we do need, though, uh, is a speed run, a rune, a haste rune over there. And I guess, um, let us just buy all the gear available. I mean, well, we won't equip it, but you know what? We might as well buy it. There. I mean, obviously, this is a lot better than uh, anything else we can equip. I guess we'll also buy that. There we go. Wait. Yeah, no, right. I mean, these are better, but we we need them. Um, we need those braces for... Also, we can't equip that. I wouldn't mind having that, though. I guess before we spend all our money, let us go and buy one more weight allowance. There. Good. That way, we can at least equip this. I don't need one more siphon. I mean, that was only needed really for, uh, you know, for our Hokage. Right, um, we have so much money, I don't want to just waste it all, you know, on, well, on Karen, basically. So what we're gonna do is we are going to spend it uh, on runes. I know for a fact that we will need these. Yeah, we will pretty much need all the grace runes we can get our hands on. So, that's one uh, thing. Then... Well, I guess, you know, the runes that we currently use, like that, like that. Um, okay. I mean, <laughs> I'm pretty sure we won't be able to buy all of them. They are pretty expensive, after all. Uh, no, 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 we need this one over here. I'd be surprised if we can even buy one more. Nope, <laughs> no we cannot, because they are too expensive. Right, fine then. So, here we are now. How much damage do we do? 65. I will admit, that doesn't seem that great, but... Now, well, I guess it's good enough. Lady Bunsley, you will be the one braving the castle. Hopefully, you will actually make it to the boss room. Well, as I recall, uh, Lady Hero the second actually made it to the boss room. Uh, she just never really uh, <laughs> entered it, you know. She thought she was better than the tower and was proven wrong rather harshly. We will save this axe uh, for the occasion if we encounter a, a fairy chest room. Where? Oh. Right. 
Alright, shoot, shoot. Ah, that was foolish. Ah, that was foolish again. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, Lady Buntley, I must admit you didn't have the best of starts. Yeah, see, the thing is, you know, in my private save, <laughs> gonna use that as an excuse again, uh, I always have a uh, double jump. You know, I can, like, jump twice. Oh, wow. The reaction time. That was real, man. The reaction time was real. It was not a joke. Ooh, you are easy, dude. Look at that. See, that one doesn't even get knocked back. Still, though, this was a rather easy one. Ooh, and we get armor. The one thing we desperately need. Very good, very good. I approve mightily. Uh, actually, that was just stupid. Ah, uh, you should never really uh, jump down without knowing what's there, you know. Or, well, <laughs> jump down, fall down without knowing what you will land on. Pro tip, you know. Uh, I don't think there are any enemies here. Doesn't seem to be the case. And here we have the way leading towards the dungeon. We will not go there. Instead, I want to find the forest first. I want to find as many as these fairy chests as uh, is humanly possible. I mean, they will all contain stat upgrades that we are desperately going to need. Oh man. Come on, man. Think, Lady Bunsley. You need to be sharper than uh, you currently are, because clearly this ain't gonna cut it. Also, what? <laughs> hacks, hacks, I call hacks. There, now that was a good dodge. There. Looking good. Right, okay, let us explore downwards, actually. Uh, we'll go down even further over here. Ooh, the boss room, very nice. Very nice indeed. Right, let us see here. Uh, I don't think... Wow, that was... Alright. Sir Punch of the Leon, you know, even though you... <laughs> I mean, I think we have it in us to beat you. I don't think we have it in us uh, to get to you today. <laughs> Not with the form that I'm displaying. Oh, man. No, 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 no. Definitely not gonna try and get killed by two giant plants. Not today. Ew. Wow. <laughs> All that we got was one sack of gold. <laughs> I mean, really? Oh. Oh, we're getting ripped off here, man, by the game. It's not giving us the reward that we justly deserve. Alright. Yeah, come at me. I can handle you. And you. Oh, oh we can at least easily get this chest. No zombies that will spawn up. I mean, that's usually quite tricky too, you know. They do tend to park them on these kind of ledges where you... Jump up and then all of a sudden a zombie spawns right in your face. And you can't just, you know, have force yourself downwards. So. Right, easy peasy. Critical hit even all, of course, because of our awesome clue. I don't know what a critical hit damage is, but I'm pretty sure that if we land like a few on the uh, Sir Punch, the lion, you know what, let's actually take the gamble. Yes, 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 I want to give the money. We don't have any use for it either. Oh, balls. <laughs> it would have been nice if we actually did got it, but... Ah, well, you know, you can't always roll six, <laughs> or in this time, three, you know, for the right chest. <laughs> now, this is another chest that will not betray us with no loot whatsoever. Also, didn't really cost anything to open either, but <laughs> that's besides the point. Here, uh, let us dodge these shots. These ice shots. Ice shards. 
good. Well, Lady Bunsley is showing that she ain't doing too bad. I do feel, though, that perhaps, you know, well, once we're through with the castle, we should start playing a lot more careful. I mean, in the castle, we one-hit kill everything. The enemies are not difficult. So, you know, I feel like we can... Well, in, it's kind of safe to rush through things a little bit, you know? I mean, besides, it wouldn't be really... It wouldn't be really good gameplay to, uh, <laughs> to take like uh, 45 minutes for the castle, you know? <laughs> Especially after we've cleared it. Ooh. That was bad. Though... It only damaged us for six, so <laughs> in the end, it was bad. I'll be the first to admit, but it wasn't that bad. There, look at that, and that was proper skills, man. There, we showed everybody who is boss. Lady Bunsley is boss. There now, open the chest, gather up the money, which we don't really need. Now, see, the thing is, why do you always want to uh, check all the chests? I mean, you don't even necessarily need to open all of them, but every Iron Bandit one you do need to open. And see, any chest on the map could be an Iron Bandit chest. So, it's definitely worth you know, investigating all the rooms for chests. Only dead ends that you know do not have chests are like, well, not worth... Uh, Inspecting, infesting into. Now, down over here, there is this one room. I don't know if it leads to anywhere. Well, it leads to a chest, you know. Remember what I just said about about Iron Band and chests? <laughs> They're not here. But see, the thing is as well, is that the moment you have a chest inside, they're usually pretty easy to come to. And why would you... Just turn around, not opening a chest that was within arm's reach, right? Uh, well, if you have really long arms, that is. There, that's some metagame strategy uh, for you all. Now, we are in the forest, we need to start doing things more serious here. Alright, very good. We have an eye that's going to annoy us. Right. It's going to annoy us, but not it's not gonna bother us that much. Whoa, that's a big one, man. I figured uh, there would be one of you out there. <laughs> I mean, I saw that circle, I was like, what? <laughs> well, <laughs> there's also a fire dude down there. No, there is not. You are going to lose your ball, though. Good. No, right, that did go surprisingly well. I mean, I got taken by surprise a little bit by that big uh, spell radius below my feet, but... All right, good. Now, we don't need to take note... Oh, plant. Now, we do need to take note about the fact that we don't seem to be able to kill most mobs in one hit. So we should expect the, us not to, and you know, dodge accordingly, plan our strategy accordingly. Oh, nice. If we do get low on HP, this is where we'll go to refill it. Relatively close to the teleporter, even closer if the boss room was over here. Nice. Terrain hacks, very nice. Wow, only two bags of gold. Even for the garden, <laughs> that is like ripping us off. I don't know what it is. It seems like, you know, Lady Luck and Lady Bunsley somehow got off to the wrong foot, you know, at some point. <laughs> She's just not getting the drops, man. She really isn't. Alright. Look at this. I think we, this means that we, we can basically attack in any direction that we want. I guess that's the very flexible trait for us right there. I hope that this will be in our advantage um, once we actually have to fight. Oh. Once we actually have to fight. Uh, 
come on. You are starting to annoy me. Nice. We at least killed the scout. No, but uh, like, I was, like I was trying to say, just never really got to finish the sentence. I hope that the very flexible trait will come into our advantage once we play Sapunch the Leon. But we constantly have to run turn, run turn, run turn like that, you know, and then... Well, hope, hopefully, you know, because we're very flexible, we'll be able to uh, land a lot of hits on him without getting hurt ourselves all that much. Also, if we do happen to get hit uh, by one of these spike balls, I mean, we'll just kill them. We will probably only get hit like twice or so, or three times. Whoa! Reflection or <laughs> reaction time. Good reflexes. <laughs> I see. Good reflexes, but... Ah, well, at least we killed the eye, you know. That saves us a lot of trouble uh, if we ever need to pass this room again. Wow. So many spells, man. That's unheard of, really. Usually, you know, when you want another spell, you don't get it. Here we don't really need another spell. And we get it like... Nice. We didn't even really need our special ability. And here we can just dodge like that, kill him in midair. Air is his domain, but we seem to own it. What? I was pretty sure oh, we don't kill it in one hit. And that was just... Wow. Alright. So far, so not good. We need to get down here in order to kill you. Oh, and then there's actually no chest or... Balls. <laughs> balls, balls, and more balls. Wow. Yeah, okay, so apparently we don't kill these horses in one hit over here. Ha! Huh, that's a thing to keep in mind. I seem to recall myself actually telling me exactly that to keep in mind, uh, like uh, 10 minutes ago or something. <laughs> Short term memory, huh? What's that? We definitely need to attempt this. If we had pad right now, that would be so much easier. However, I think we did this rather well. Nice, a strength increase. Always welcome. Well, I guess it was a pretty smooth display of how to do that. Yeah. That's just annoying. I don't think we really had that much choice over here. Also, we are going to wait. Nice. Uh, well, I guess we don't really have that much choice. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was way too close for comfort. What? Did I seriously run into him? I thought uh, we were actually safe there. Oh, well. Maybe that's the flexible thing as well. I do notice sometimes that, you know, at times, um, it does seem like, well, you don't seem to touch like spikes or something, but the moment you turn around, you actually do get hit. So, like the hitbox is not perfectly centered with the character, you know, and the moment you turn around, the actual hitbox also turns around. Like your, your back is extended more outwards where with the hitbox, you know? At least, it seems that way. And of course, I don't really have any proof for my theory. Come on now. Yes. This is what I wanted you to do. Now, if you would be so kind... Thank you. <laughs> I was just waiting for that to happen, you know. We're not doing that great on HP. 4 HP is always welcome. There, Lady Bunsley, you know, displaying some clever knowledge of uh, mechanics and skills and using it to her advantage. Oh. <laughs> what are you gonna do, plant? Shoot the ceiling? 
Well, also, that you saw that Imba Dodge that I pulled off there. Nice, lots of money. I would have preferred a health up, you know? In fact, all these damage jobs that we're getting, they're not bad. Give HP up flicks. That's what we need. We don't really need things like... Well, actually, I'm... I was about to say, like, we don't really need a thing. All right, that was the stupidest thing <laughs> I ever did. You know, when the moment I hit the, like, the uh, swing sword button, I was like, oh, wait, that dude's going to bounce me back. Huh? <laughs> Derp. <laughs> if I didn't need two hands playing in this game, I would have face palmed pretty hard over there. All right. So far, so good, huh? Now, these rooms, usually, they could contain a fairy chest. However, no. Uh, we need, we need, we need to be very quick. Nice. Another shield. Well, I suppose, you know, in theory, I said I wanted HP, but I guess a shield, uh, when it comes down to it, also increases your HP. Only your effective HP, basically. I don't know, what is our armor rating? 23%. Alright. I guess... It's not that bad. 23%. We would have been hit for like 50. Then all we would take was like 40. <laughs> oh well, you know, at least it's something. Still. Oh wow. Okay, at least we got that out of the way. Alright. That's those missiles done. We're gonna take this slow. We're a paladin. The moment we find the boss room, we're going to find the boss. Look at that though, you know. I can see this being in our advantage against uh, Saponcho the Lion. Alright, so far so good. So far, so very good, in fact. Nice. Maybe we actually do have a chance against the Poncha, the lion. I don't really know. We'll have to find out. Just don't get hit. Alright. No. Alright, you were the first one we absolutely needed to get rid of. Ugh, this, <laughs> this is just ballsy, man. Alright. In the end, all you need to do, really, is take a position, you know, analyze which spots are safe. Oh. Well, I know which spots are safe to stand over there. And over there. Alright, looking good, looking good. You know, playing cautious, playing calculative, playing careful. I think that will win us. Oh, balls! That was stupid. I should not have jumped. I was like, you know, pre-dodging uh, the rockets over there. Whilst there was no real need to. Nice. They do give us 8 HP back though, you know. From the moment their ball also uh, disappears gets killed in the terrain. Alright. Ooh, very nice. Now we got two of those. Ooh. I don't like these rooms. We're not gonna go da down. Boss room! Very nice! Okay, unlike Lady Hero, where her caveat was that she thought herself better than the tower, and went on exploring anyway, Lady Bunsley knows her humble position, that she's most likely going to die against the punch of the, the lion. So she will fight him right here, right now, at least to have tried uh, the punch of the lion. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. I will admit that so far, 
So Punch of the Lion proves to be the better one over here. Alright. Alright. Well, I must admit actually, you know, that I feel like... We're having uh, this fight somewhat in our hand. If only for the fact that... Alright, that was stupid, that was stupid. I'll be the first to admit it. And that was worse, but that was bad luck. That was just pure bad luck. Oh, wow, that was close. Wow, why are you charging so much, Punch the Lion? I don't like that. Ooh. Alright, got him there. I think our dodging, though, is pretty, pretty good. Oh, man. Oh, man. We are doing quite good, though, when it comes to his HP. Oh, that spike ball. However, you know, our strategy, oh, which, you know, includes using the retaliation against those spike things, does seem to work rather well, if I may say so myself. I think... Oh! Oh, wow. Spike balls, why? If we didn't get hit by... by Sir Poncho the Lion, that spike ball would have been dead. We would have lived. And we would have probably won from Sir Poncho the Lion. Because I was keeping an eye on his health, you know. I felt very much in control of this fight, you know. He wasn't that difficult, and... I think we were freaking damn close. It was like a sixth of his health remaining. I think five hits or something, you know, and we would have done him in. And that's the thing, you know, the very flexible trait. I must admit, though, I would I thought we would land more hits on him. Uh, the very flexible actually makes us turn too quick. Whereas if you don't have that, you move backwards more, you know. So whenever you strike, you keep facing that direction. However, you just move backwards, striking in the direction you uh, tap the uh, attack button in. But having all considered that, with a paladin, if we were a Hokage and we got hit the same amount of times, Sir Poncha, the lion, would be dead. Oh, I remember the very first times that we faced a punch of the lion. It was an utter, utter defeat without any hope, any chance of being successful. Right now, though, it seems only a matter of time before this boss is down. But that will all have to wait for next time when we play more Rogue Legacy.